SDG and E turned off power to power lines that were threatened by the fire, affecting about 4,000 customers. Our attendance reporter McKenzie Maynard joins us on this story. McKenzie, no word when that power is going to be restored either. Yeah, Stephen, Lindsay, right now they're saying maybe by 930 tonight, and that's for 4,000 customers in this area who are without power. But for hours, crews are going to continue their mop up. Take a look behind me. You can see them kind of taking down some of the brush there. Now, uh, direct your attention to the palms. Those are what caused a lot of concern, and those are what burned. The embers from the tops of the palms made it difficult because it covered a widespread area, creating multiple spot fires. Let's show you some video from earlier. Right now they're saying the fire started closer to Montezuma. Right now we're on Fairmont Avenue and the fire burned south towards Aldine Drive and then jumped over Fairmont Ave up into the uh, hills over there working its way towards those neighborhoods where we just saw Michael Chen. Now the firefighters say because of these embers and because of the winds it created multiple spot fires which created a lot of difficulties. The crews coming in had to split their equipment up in two different directions to try to surround it and go up on top and around. And it took time. And the aircraft split their resources, but we were able to stop it. Again, we see those crews out here still continuing to mop up and just uh, keep their eye on some of the hot spots. We've seen lots of brush kind of get taken down as they're clearing out, creating a defensible space later on uh, this evening. Now, something that is keeping crews on here, we just talked with fire crews and they actually told us they're having an issue with water uh, supply out here because there isn't any type of uh, fire hydrant on this side of Fairmont Avenue, so they're having to keep the hoses kind of across Fairmont Avenue, which is in turn keeping the entire Fairmont Avenue closed down this evening. They expect to continue to have it closed down for the next few hours. For now, reporting live, Mackenzie Maynard, 10 News.